Hey, 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 Lady Dream here, and I will be giving you top three books and a bonus as to what is helping me with my Hashimoto's, that has helped me with my Hashimoto's, as well as that I feel is going to help you with your Hashimoto's. So stay tuned. <laughs> channel for those that are new here my name is lady dream and this channel is based on getting your life back after being diagnosed with Hashimoto's now today I will be diving into this video giving you top three books as well as a bonus as to what actually helped me through my Hashimoto's health journey as well as what I felt is gonna help you through this journey there are top three books that actually helped me initially before I even knew about these books or anything, I didn't know exactly how to treat myself. And I was going through all the symptoms of chronic urticaria, which is known as hives, and also swelling of my face, which is also known as angioedema. And we will get into another video about that as to what symptoms that weren't listed for Hashimoto's that is a rare case, which is considered in rare cases of what symptoms people have that are not even listed. So let's dive right into this video. The top three books that actually helped me through my Hashimoto's, one of them that I'm about to tell you about is what I currently don't have at the moment, only because of the fact that when my mom first told me about the second book that I have, there is a first one before that one that I was actually supposed to read first and that I was initially going to go get. But when I went to Barnes and Noble, they didn't have the book on the shelves at all. I think it was sold out, if I'm not mistaken. So I ended up getting her second book, which was also helpful. And even if you do get access to her second book, that is okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still going to be a treatment plan. There's still going to be all of that. And she's still going to talk to you about exactly what Hashimoto's is, just like she did in her first book. And she's going to give you a treatment plan. That is always her end goal to all of her books, is for you to be well on your way into getting a treatment plan. The first book I'm gonna talk to you guys about that I will have a picture of on the side here is called Hashimoto's Thyroiditis, Lifestyle Interventions for Finding and Treating the Root Cause, and her name is Isabella Wentz. All these books are by the same person. Her name is Isabella Wentz, and the author of all three of these books had Hashimoto's herself. And she was in, I want to say pharmacy school, or I, I, I think she was a pharmacologist. At the time when she found out about her Hashimoto, she was having weird symptoms and all that other stuff. So I will be diving into also another video about the author herself. So this way you guys will know about her instead of just reading her books. The first book talks about lifestyle interventions that help with simple modifications, which help with removing triggers, help with restoring equilibrium, as well as allowing your body to rebuild itself after Hashimoto. In her book, she talks about different interventions and stuff that you guys will have, and also lifestyle changes that you may have to make, as well as different treatment plans for yourself. So that will be the first book. The second book is called Hashimoto's Protocol, a 90-day plan for reserving thyroid symptoms and getting your life back. So I do have that book. And basically, this book I had got from, from Barnes & Noble initially, but you can also find it on Amazon. So all the books that I'm listing to you, I will actually have it down in the description box below if you guys are interested in buying all the books. But basically, what the book basically has in here is a quick start two-week detox, including foods to eat and inflammatory foods to avoid. So... For those that suffer with um, leaky gut, food intolerance, which I will talk about in another video, if you do suffer from food intolerance, then this book will definitely benefit you. I think she touched base as well as um, what diets you should be on. She also talked about certain recipes you should try. She does have some recipes in here that will definitely help you on your Hashimoto's journey. It also talks about liver support, adrenal recovery, as well as gut balance protocols. So she gives you different protocols to go by, so this way you can repair each part of your body. So if you have problems with your adrenals, or your adrenal hormones, then she has a protocol for that 
that you that you could follow to get your adrenal to go into recovery. Another thing that she touches based on is gut recovery. So if you have leaky gut and you have food intolerances that, that messes with the gut, she has a recovery process for that that you can follow step by step. And then she has liver support. So for those that are suffering through Hashimoto's that need liver support, suffer from different symptoms that involve your liver, there is a liver protocol recovery for that as well. She also has a comprehensive self-test and personalized treatment plans in here. So you guys do have treatment plans and do not worry about it because she has it all covered, honey, okay? Trust me, she gives you them gems in this book, okay? And she also has delicious recipes, success stories, and so much more in this book. And I got it as far as getting started on the gut recovery. So that's as far as I got in the book. So um, I'm still in the process of reading that. So just as much as you guys are treating yourselves, I'm also still in the process of treating myself. I don't want you guys to come on this channel and automatically think, oh, she has all the answers and she's been through this already. Yes, I am going through this. And I'm going through this with you guys. But I also need you to understand also that I am still going through the process of healing myself. I'm still in that process. So, no, even though my Hashimoto's is in remission right now, that does not mean that I am fully, completely, completely healed of all my symptoms. I still suffer from different gut problems. I still suffer from trying to get my adrenals right. And I am still trying to figure out how to transition into my diet. So, um, yeah, I don't want you guys to think that I'm perfect because I'm not. You know, I don't I don't always have all the answers. I'm just discovering stuff as I go along with you guys. And when I do find out things that I feel that is going to help you, I'm sharing these gems with you. There's no need to be sent on this channel, baby, okay? So, <laughs> the third book is called Hashimoto's Food Pharmacology. And this is by the same author, Isabella Wynn. And this is what the book looks like. And it's a beautiful, beautiful book, trust me guys. Even though it looks thick, trust me, there's a lot of gems, a lot of recipes, and she has a lot of things that I did not know that could affect your thyroid. So for example, I didn't know that certain things we cook from, like Teflon pans, is contributing to our thyroid issues. It's poisoning our thyroid, and we don't want that. We don't want chemicals from the metal that heats up into our food, that's not good. So um, that's basically what I found out. Those are one of the gems that I found out. And that's just one gem. There's mad gems in here, mad gems. And trust me, this is a must read, okay? This is definitely a must have in your household if you guys do consider getting it, okay? So in this book, it has nutrition protocols, healing recipes to take charge of your thyroid health. And it has over 125 recipes in here. And she even gives you meal plans based off one week to two weeks. She has different diet plans, which is like three different diet plans that you guys would want to have based off protocols. And in this book, like I said, it has 125 delicious and nutritious recipes for salads, smoothies, bone broth, and crock pot. I think it's a bibimbap style meals with thyroid supporting nutrients details on every page so she gives you nothing but gems not only does she drop these gems on you but she also gives you details okay and i mean details for real okay she breaks it down for you also in this book she has over 100 stunning food and lifestyle photographs she has tips for revamping your kitchen and pantry she has basically an faq for easy reference and quick answers she has an easy to use personalized meal plan, food rotation schedules to accommodate any diet, okay? So these are gems for you, honey, okay? Trust me. And if I'm looking down, it's because I'm basically telling you what's inside this book. I don't want you guys to think like, oh, she's off somewhere else and she's not here with us. Trust me, I am here. So this is the third book, okay? And I will have those links below for you. Here is the bonus. The bonus one that I have for you guys is her website. So the website is called thyroidpharmacist.com. Basically, in my last video, if you guys peeked my last video, I had some photos up about, you know, the picture of the thyroid and which side was damaged and which, which side was under attack and which side had the thyroid hormones leaking out. And also, the, the big picture I had off on the side of me with the hypothyroid symptoms and the hyperthyroid symptoms those pictures come from thyroidpharmacist.com that's where i got these pictures and 
They have articles pertaining to your symptoms, what types of meds and supplements that are strongly suggested that she took on her Hashimoto's journey and that I'm also on now that actually put me on remission. So some of the stuff that she's recommended, I've been on. I've actually found a really good article that made a lot of sense to the symptoms I've had with my Hashimoto's because I didn't understand why I was having chronic urticaria. I didn't understand how to get rid of my chronic urticaria and I really did not know how to get rid of my stomach pains and the constant vomiting that I was having because at one point I was going into veganism and being vegan did not agree with me. It agreed with me for a little while but it did not agree with me after that. I was vomiting for almost two to three weeks straight. And no matter what I ate, it just, the acid just kept coming up in my stomach because I suffered from really bad acid reflux. And it was to the point where I was, I was throwing up blood. So I really had to really be, I don't mean to be so graphic, but that's how bad it was for me. I read an article that saved my life and that was from her. So it got me to really understand and it saved me a lot of trips to the emergency room. So she has PDFs and resources and oh yes. And she also has a Hashimoto's, and I believe it's a it's either between a six to nine part documentary on Hashimoto's. Honey, when I tell you, when I tell you this documentary made me cry into tears, but it was like, it wasn't even tears of sadness. It was tears of joy and relief because I felt like I was so much on my own because I felt like no one understood me except for my mom because since my mom is a thyroid cancer survivor, and has had Hashimoto's before hers turned into cancer. She was my only guide to support. And no matter how much I explained it to my friends, my family, my previous significant others that I was with at the time when I tried to explain it to them, they did not understand and I felt so alone. And that is not what I want for you guys. I want you guys to, to understand that I am here with you. I don't want you to think that I'm not here with you, that I don't understand you. And for those that don't understand you, honey, you can always come to this channel. Because baby, Lady Dream understands, okay? Yeah, she has a whole bunch of gems. A whole bunch. And I want you guys to go there. So I will also have the, the site in the description box below. It has a lot. And I don't want you guys to miss out on any resources, honey, okay? So that is it for this video. I hope this video truly helped you. And also, what I forgot to tell you is that if you guys are having a hard time looking for doctors, I will be putting out a video for how to find the resources of a list on the thyroid pharmacist site where it gives you a list of alternative doctors that are in your city and that are in your area that can actually help you that also goes based off this book, okay? Because when I first read this book, Trust me, not a lot of doctors wanted to utilize this book at all. The first thing they told me was, uh, you shouldn't believe what you read. Listen, that is bullcrap. Don't listen to any of your doctors that say you shouldn't go by what you read. Yes, we shouldn't go crazy and go Google everything because sometimes Google's not always right about a lot of things. And then there are some things that Google is right about. But this is concrete evidence and this, and this is coming from a woman who actually has Hashimoto's and actually experimented and also has worked and uh, worked and went to school for pharmacology that is giving you these gems in here, okay? And I will be giving you top 10 tests as well that are in this book that you should take to figure out where you are with your Hashimoto's and figure out why you're having the symptoms that you're having and what treatment plans you should go on based off those, okay? So, like I said, that is it for this video. My name is Lady Dream, and I want you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you haven't, I don't know what you guys are waiting for, honey, because trust me, I have a lot for you guys, a lot of content for you guys that I feel that is going to be helpful to you. What is going on? Why won't you subscribe? Come on now. I want you guys to join the Lady Dream family, you know? I want you guys to understand that not only is this a channel that is going to benefit you, but this is also a channel that will give you that support that you need. I want this to be a movement. I want this to be a a support group for us ladies and, and some men that do suffer from Hashimoto's because trust me, baby, it is rare that we hear about men that suffer from Hashimoto's, but trust me, there are men that do suffer from Hashimoto's. It's just rare that we hear about it. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram as well, okay? I love you guys, stay clean, Stay safe, wash your hands, and don't be nasty. 
and wear your mask everywhere you go. This is COVID and we are going through tough times right now. And the last thing we need is for you kings and queens to be laying up in somebody's hospital sick. You guys are too beautiful and too fly for that, okay? So I wish you nothing but love, peace, and positivity. Feel free to hit that notification bell so this way you guys are notified for when I drop new videos, okay? I love you guys. Namaste, my kings and queens. I'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Bye!